Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Moahib. So today's video I'm going to be making a DIY room spray which I'm super excited about because I just cannot wait to make it with you guys. And I actually miss filming. Is it is it weird to say like I'm literally on video number 12 and I miss filming for you guys. I just can't believe how much I fell in love with filming so it's just it's just crazy but anyway before i get into this video please do hit that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up and please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time i post and please do comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future so without further ado let's get straight into it all right guys so i have everything that i need right in front of me so what i have is a base oil from wooden wood co a base oil from cozy owl I also picked up two uh, room spray bottles from Amazon, a frosted glass one and a clear glass. I also have my fragrance oil which are half empty apart from the jasmine one. I think I may actually use the whole bit of jasmine because these ones are literally half empty, almost even a quarter. I barely have. But And also measuring jug, a wooden spoon to mix and a funnel which I'm super excited to use I swear I cannot wait to just put it and pour it but anyway let's pop that down the reason why I love this one is because you can use it for the home and for the body and that, that's just something that I'm just obsessed with you you're basically getting it two in one and it's a hundred percent natural organic plus wildcrafted witch hazel and uh, the cozy hour one you cannot use it on your body only for the room spray because it doesn't mention that it's allowed to be used on the body um, on the website so yeah by the way how beautiful these um, uh, glasses are I love them so let's get into um, measuring so I'm gonna be using 80 ml of a base oil and 20 ml of a fragrance oil so I'm gonna be I'm gonna measure that and then okay. all right guys so I have 80 ml of fragrance oil uh, fragrance oil 80 ml of a base oil right there and I'm gonna add on um, what's this this is sun drenched apricot rose oh I'm obsessed with this one i love this one so i think i'm gonna actually go with this one so i'm gonna use 20 ml so this is gonna be a total of 100 ml to make up for the bottle oh perfect all right so where's the lid so i'm gonna do that and give that a little mix should I pop it in the frosted one or should I pop it in the clear one? Oh, it smells so beautiful. I, l I love making this. I just I just love doing this. I love doing this. And I, have, I actually have an extra jug for this as well. Did I mention that I did the diffuser and not my last week's video, the week before that. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description down below. I think that's about perfect. Let me smell it. Oh wow, that smells beautiful. Okay, so I think that's perfect. And I'm gonna start using my funnel. Oh my god, so exciting. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with my frosted bottle because I'm excited to use this. Okay, so it's still a little wet, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a dry. And let me dry this one as well. So let's do this. I want to show you guys. I'm gonna put my funnel on. I'm so excited for my funnel. Woo! It fits perfectly. Look at this, guys. All right, let's do this. I hope that's enough. Should be enough. That's amazing. You know what? I might add a little bit more fragrance oil. I might add just a bit more all right that's perfect and then let's pop that in oh <gasps> look how gorgeous that looks oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm getting so excited okay i'm gonna give that a bit of a shake okay are we ready to spray this because i know i am oh my god you, got, you can already smell it from the from the what do you call this from the spray thingy okay are we ready oh my god Oh, oh, 
Okay, I smell too much. Oh my god, it smells so beautiful. Put it everywhere. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Sun drenched apricot rose, guys. This is what I made for my first room spray fragrance. Okay, for my first room spray fragrance or for my first room spray? All right, so then I'm gonna be using actually, I'm gonna cut the camera wash my um jug and then be right back i am back i gave my jug a bit of a clean a good clean i also gave my funnel a clean did i please tell me i brought it up oh yeah i did it's right there there we go and then it's right there so i'm gonna be using the home and body organic wildcrafted and rich hazel by wooden Co. i'm also going to be using the same measurement 80 ml of um their base and 20 ml of fragrance oil by the way, I sprayed so much of um, the spray and the whole room smells of it. It smells amazing. So, let's do this. Oh, this one actually has a bit of a smell. This one doesn't. Huh. Yeah, this one doesn't have a smell at all. But this one does. Hmm. Okay, so, but it doesn't smell too bad though. Okay, so, let's, let's do this. 80 ml. Yeah. We're just about at 80 mil. I think, are we? Yeah. All right, guys. So, and then for this one, I actually don't know what to use for this one. Because these ones are all... Okay, I'm just going to use the jasmine one because it's the, just the best one. I'm going to use the jasmine one. I do have wooden wicko um, fragrance oil, but it's not going to be enough to make the 20 mil the only yeah I don't think it's gonna be enough it's okay so I'm just gonna use the again these stuff are just leaking the um, fragrances okay let's do the jasmine okay there we go amazing Ooh, it smells so beautiful it smells fresh it actually smells really fresh but you know i um in my candle haul supply or in my yeah in my candle haul supply video i actually prefer the jasmine essential oils to the jasmine fragrance oil it just smells much more beautiful oh this one looks a bit this one doesn't look as clear as this one huh interesting but still smells beautiful i can smell it it's doing good so all right i think that's enough where's my clear bottle there's my clear bottle oh, wow it smells so gorgeous actually right let me give that a bit of a clean a bit of a dry here too where's my funnel there we go let's do this whoopsie that's perfect all right there you go that is done pop that in let's spray it are we ready oh that spray is beautiful oh <sighs> the smell of jasmine just is beautiful all right guys they smell amazing they look beautiful sorry guys my camera decided to die on me so i had to literally charge it for like half an hour and then come back and film the last clip of this video which i'm so upset about because i just enjoyed this video so much but i'd love to talk a little bit more about the um room sprays that i did just in case any of you are wondering so for this room spray which i used the wooden wood co base um the fragrance oil did separate from the base and i did um search up uh, on the wooden wood co website and they did say because it's 100% natural base there's a chance of the fragrance oil separating from the base which is completely fine all I need to do is just mix it and spray and it should be fine and um, mix it did I say mix it shake it shake it I'm, I do apologize uh, and for the room spray that I did with the cozy owl diffuser base and yes it's a diffuser base and I can use it as a room spray too uh, which is completely fine but what I found with um, the cozy owl diffuser base is a little bit oily for it to be a room spray um, I did so I did I do hear about this UK supplier called craft 
Craftivator. I think it's Craftivator. I'll link it in the description down below. And they do have a vegan base. It's the same exact um, um, type of base, which is Yu-Gi-Oh or Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm pronouncing that completely wrong. But I'll pop it on a picture or somewhere on the screen so you guys know what one I'm talking about. And apparently it's actually not the oily one you spray it uh, to use it as a room spray. So I'm definitely going to purchase that and then kind of um, compare the two. That would be fun. But yeah, I did use a diffuser base for a room spray just in case you guys are wondering. Is that right? You can use it as a room spray so it's completely fine. But what I do find it though, if you guys want to use um, the same base that I used from Cozy Owl it is a little bit oily I would prefer to just use it as a diffuser base just for the diffuser I wouldn't use it as a room spray again I want to try the one from Craft to Veta um, where it's vegan and apparently it doesn't it's, it doesn't have the oily texture when you do spray it because this one when I sprayed it like I sprayed it a bit on my hand it's a bit oily like oh yeah you can you can fully see it I don't know if that will come up on camera but it's it's very oily so i don't want that to be in my room spray if that makes sense i don't want it to like stick or stain the furniture so i hope i made everything clear if you have any further questions about my room sprays or any questions at all please do pop them in the comment section down below but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please do hit that subscribe button down below because i'm on a road to 1000 subscribers and i can't do it without you and by the way we are at 76 subscribers now how exciting it's just it's just amazing i'm so grateful for you guys thank you so much please do give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time i post so with that being said i'll see you in the next one Bye bye